and welcome to the third episode in our Lenten hymn sing series here at the Church of St. Martin in the Fields, Philadelphia. We hope you continue to join us each Friday through Lent as we explore our Lenten hymnody. We wish to encourage you to share these videos with your friends and family and to engage with us through the comments section and social media. If you missed the first two episodes, please do check our YouTube page where you can access all episodes in the series. To learn more about our worship and outreach here at St. Martin's, please visit our website which is displayed on the screen now. Let us again take a moment at the end of our busy weeks to pause, learn and reflect on hymns, their scripture and their histories. Author of this hymn and of over 150 texts, of which many are for children, Claudia Frances Herneman also translated many hymns to English from their original Latin. Passionate about children's religious education, Claudia's publications include A Child's Book of Praise from 1837 and Christmas Carols for Children from 1885. The original form of this hymn's melody was published in the whole book of Psalms in John Day's Psalter of 1562 in London in the UK. Though the original composer remains unknown, the harmony we sing today from the hymnal 1982 is by the 19th century musician Richard Redhead. Redhead was chorister at Magdalen College, Oxford, and would later become organist at Margaret Chapel, London, now known as All Saints Margaret Street, where he was an excellent trainer of boys' choirs. Committed to the Oxford movement, which favoured Roman elements being introduced to the Anglican worship, Redhead is co-author with the then rector of All Saints Margaret Street of the Anglican Plain Song Psalter, published in 1843. In 1864, he began working as organist at St. Mary Magdalene in London, where he served for 30 years. Written by Thomas Henry Kane, a professor of English literature at McMaster University in Canada for 31 years, he wrote the words of Eternal Lord of Love specifically for the hymnal 1982. The words of this hymn have appeared in numerous hymnals since, including within other denominations of the Christian Church. Kane was a regular church organist from childhood until 1967, when he became immersed in choral music. He sang at St. James's Anglican Church in Ontario under the direction of Richard Burney Smith in whose Te Deum singers he sang until ill health forced him to quit singing. In 1976, Kane joined St. John's Anglican Church in Ancaster, where he sang for over two decades and was central to the redesign of the organ in 1988. The melody for this hymn, composed by 16th century musician Louis Bourgeois and named The Old 124th, was first published in the 1551 edition of the Geneva Psalter. Bourgeois served as a cantor and master of the choristers at Saint-Pierre and Saint-Gervais in Geneva. 
A well-known melody which also appears in many North American hymnals, the harmonization which appears in the hymnal 1982 is by Canon Charles Winfred Douglas, an American priest, musician, linguist, and poet, who among other achievements was instrumental in bringing plain song back into general use in the 19th century. <laughs> 